What's up everyone? It's your girl Nicole.young and welcome back to my channel. The best place for anyone who wants to break into tech, learn how to code or earn more freedom through freelancing. Today, I have curated a list of languages because I know that there are so many people in this community on here and on Instagram that are looking to get into tech and start learning how to program, but have no clue where to start. So I put together a list of languages that are going to be specifically geared towards anyone who is starting their journey and wants to be able to start with a language that is not only beginner friendly, but is going to allow them to confidently move into the tech industry and into the job market once they learn as well. All right, are you ready for it? Let's get right into it. So like I said before, I know it can be so confusing and frustrating with all of the hundreds of languages that are out there to be able to find one and pick one that is going to help you on your journey. I mean, there are just so many resources out there and it can be super intimidating to just pick one. I personally do recommend that if you are just getting started with coding, that you do pick just one language to learn to start with and then add on languages as you master, you know, the problem solving, computational thinking and logical aspects of whatever language you pick from the beginning. But I am someone that can be super indecisive. So I know how difficult it feels to pick something and lock yourself in on that, knowing how quickly the tech industry just progresses. So I did some research and put together a list of five languages based on criteria that I think is suitable for beginners. Number one, the popularity and projections of that language. We wanna make sure that we're learning a language that we will be able to find a job in in the next year or two that we uh, spend learning, right? The next criteria is the salary. We want to make sure that if we are making this switch that it's worthwhile. The last criteria that I looked for is that it is a language that is beginner friendly. And what I mean by that is usually within the syntax of the language that it is one that is fairly easy to pick up compared to all of the languages that are out there. So that's the criteria. Let's get right into the list. So I am going to do this list in descending order based on which ones I recommend the most. So make sure you stay to the end so that you get the top recommendation that I have for you. But we are going to start with number five, which is Swift. So it is a language that is used to create applications and software that run natively from iOS devices. So your iPads, your phones, your Macs, if you are an Apple user like me, Swift is a language that is used to create a lot of the software that is built for those operating systems. The allure of using something like a Swift that runs natively specifically on iOS devices is that usually the code runs a lot cleaner and faster when you run it natively on those iOS devices. The next language is Java. Java has been around a lot longer than those two previous languages, but it is one that is really staying steady with its popularity and usage in the industry. Throughout my time in the industry, I have met quite a bit of people who use Java in the stacks that they use at their jobs or in their you know, coding lives. And I've seen an increased trend of the use of Java for mobile development. So definitely think if you are someone who's more interested in the back end or full stack development to take a look at Java as a language that you start learning. 
Um, and if you're interested in mobile development, I think it's a great place to start. The median salary is over $100,000 for a Java developer, and there are over 70,000 jobs available for Java developers right now. So like, there's tons of opportunity right there. I think it would be a great place to start if you're just getting started. The next language that I would recommend to beginners is PHP. Now, if you are someone who is following me or a fan of this channel because of the freelancing tips that I share, I definitely would recommend this one to you. PHP is a language geared towards web development and it has stayed really steady with its popularity over time. And that is particularly because it is the language used for one of the top content marketing systems out there, and that is WordPress. WordPress is not going anywhere anytime soon. I think, uh, I don't remember what the number is, but it's a really high percentage of websites on the internet right now are using WordPress. That's crazy. And PHP is the language that makes it all work. So learning PHP, particularly if you are interested in getting into development freelancing, I think it's a good place to start. If you are learning HTML and CSS right now, I think it's a great next step in your programming journey because it integrates right into your HTML and that's how it works. So if you are interested in getting into, you know, WordPress development or, you know, building websites in that way, especially freelance, definitely go for it with PHP. Number two on my list is a language that has been on the number one spot in terms of popularity, I think for the last couple of years now, and that is Python. Python holds a really special place in my heart because it was the language through which I was introduced to coding. So I have some familiarity with it. Particularly, I know that Python is a general purpose language. It can be used for development as well as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and those types of things. When I was learning, the company I was working for was using it for computer vision, machine learning, and it was so cool. It was super cool to learn how that worked. Python, from my experience, is a language that is really easy to learn and very beginner friendly, um, especially a language that you can do so much with. I think if you're someone that's interested in getting into robotics, artificial intelligence, building complex web applications, or even data analytics, I think that Python is a great language to start with because you're able to do pretty much everything with it. And we love that. Because it is growing in popularity and staying really high up on the list of preferred languages for different companies, the median salary I think is pretty high at 120 and there are so many jobs. I think the last time I checked, there were like 75,000 jobs available right now for Python. So in terms of having that job security and really favorable projections on a language that you're learning, you're definitely going to be making a smart investment in your time learning Python. Last but certainly not least is JavaScript. This is my top recommendation language for anyone who wants to learn programming and get started with coding. It is the language that I am learning myself, so there's definitely some bias there, but I recommend it so much to beginners. Number one, because the syntax is very beginner friendly. I think um, when I was switching from Swift into JavaScript, it was very easy for me to understand that switch and Syntax is close to spoken English as well. I think it's really easy to learn in that way. Also, JavaScript is everywhere. It is the only browser-based development language. So you can, you know, there are a lot of tools available on the internet through Google, all of that, that you can use to inspect your code and test it, which I love. Also, I think a big plus is that with JavaScript, you can learn full stack development just through JavaScript. So for a little context for people who are very new, a lot of times if you want to go into full stack development, meaning you wanna be able to build front end, 
and all the way through to the back end, websites, software, anything like that, you have to use a language that is for front end and then also connect it to languages that are for the back end that deal with the server and the functionality of a website. But with JavaScript, you can do it from start to finish. You can build your full stack in JavaScript. And that's namely because JavaScript has a lot of frameworks with it that enable it to be a language that you can use for just about anything now. There's also a framework called React that is really gaining popularity right now within JavaScript. And that is because it is enabling people to build mobile development apps that work natively, even though they're not using Swift or Kotlin or things like that. So I think that one thing, especially for those of us who are teaching ourselves how to code, why I recommend JavaScript as well is because since it is one of the oldest languages out there um, and one that is the only browser-based language, there are so many free resources out there that are meant to help you with learning JavaScript and understanding the documentation and the way it works and all of the new and growing frameworks that are being developed for it. So if you're someone trying to learn on your own, I think this is going to be one language that you should be able to find plenty of resources for as you journey through it on your own. All right, so that is it for my list. Remember that it doesn't really actually matter what language you start with. What really matters is that you are learning computational thinking, problem solving skills, and really how to start thinking like a programmer. Those are the most important things. Once you learn those things, no matter what language you use to learn those concepts, you'll be able to apply that to other languages along your journey. So don't stress it too much, just go for it. But until next time, I love you guys, I'm rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.